In the previous video, I shared with you direct ways you can showcase your work by talking about the things that you are excited about and the things that you're proud about in the work that you're doing. In this video, I'll share a couple of tips on ways that you can share your work indirectly. The first one is to make sure when you've asked someone to introduce you that you tell your colleague or your friend exactly what it is you want the other person to know. This way, your colleague or your friend can highlight your work and your expertise without you being the one to begin the conversation uh, by sharing what it is that you do and you do exceptionally well. Another tip is using your out of office strategically. Instead of just saying you're out of the office and when you'll return, add what it is you're doing when you're at a conference, at a workshop, or doing training. Whether you're the person delivering the training or you are taking training in. This way, whoever writes you will know exactly what you're doing and how you're increasing your level of proficiency or sharing your knowledge with others. Be sure to find ways within your company that you can share your knowledge as well. So that's tip number three. And that may be doing a lunch and learn where you teach others how to do something specific, or it may be volunteering for a project where you know the project team is in need of your specific skill set. So find ways that you can insert yourself into projects, events, and training so that you can teach others the things that you do incredibly well. My last tip on indirect sharing of your expertise is go to helpareporterout.com and sign up for their daily emails. This is a site that journalists and reporters use to get sources for their articles. When you sign up, you'll get an email three times a day and they're segmented by things like biotech, healthcare, travel, business, and you'll see one-liners where they're asking for someone with expertise in a very specific area. When you see an area where you have expertise, click on the link, fill it out, and hit send. You will find that before you know it, reporters are using you as a source for magazines like Entrepreneur, Inc., um, Forbes, and also lesser known articles and journals. It's a great way for others to highlight your expertise and then you can share that on social media and also include a link in your bio to the magazine on where you want people to find you, whether that's LinkedIn or your website, and you'll begin to build a circle of connections that see you as a thought leader. So try these tips to indirectly showcase your work and make that part of your visibility plan.